It's Madden NFL 23, and we've got a showdown in the NFC South. It's the Saints and the Buccaneers, and it's all up next. On the Gulf Coast of Florida at Raymond James Stadium, just north of downtown Tampa. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the New Orleans Saints and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that could have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. Coming up, it'll be no holds barred between NFC South rivals. It's the Saints and the Bucks, and it's coming up next on Madden NFL 23. DA Sports coverage of the NFL has us on the west coast of the Sunshine State. Downtown Tampa is the spot, Raymond James Stadium. Today, we've got an NFC South matchup between the New Orleans Saints and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. started and off we go from Tampa this will be fielded inside the five and some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15 so out come the Bucks now for their first drive and a glance here at their quarterback standing six foot three I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. They'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play. It's second down. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. 
to throw on second down. Sanders. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And this drive will start on the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Not only a fumble loss there, but a fumble lost on your first drive in your own territory. Now you're dealing with a lot of stuff here because you feel bad going off the field because you gave up the football. How does your own defense feel now having to go out there and stop them when the momentum has clearly shifted in their favor? So here are the Saints now with great starting field position. They'll be led out by a man in his 23rd NFL season. Still doing it at age 45, Tom Brady. Well, we've all seen what Tom Brady can do on a football field for a couple of decades now. But how about his most impressive accomplishment? Moving to a different franchise and taking them to a Super Bowl title as well. Not many players can continually stiff arm Father Time the way that he has. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Brady. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Johnson. And the Saints are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field?